Hello everybody, it's me again, and welcome back to another episode of Black Flag Shenanigans. I have no idea what part this is. But, uh, we're back here with Edward, after we've completed the Freedom Craw DLC, and, um, feels good to be back with Edward. Feels really good. But we're here in the uh, Pirate Captain outfit, and as you can see, um, me and my cousin have been quite busy. Um, he came over to visit, and we played a crap ton of Black Flag. Well, I played a crap ton. He watched me. Um, and I did quite a few stuff. Uh, for one thing, we went 100% in a couple islands, did a couple shipwrecks. Upgraded the crap out of Edward. Um, he's got four pistols now. And we also, I finally downloaded my exclusive content for my season pass and my pre-order. So I got a ton of stuff. And we went over to the islands and collected them all and everything. So for pistols, we got Captain Morgan's pistols and Captain Drake's. These are exactly the same, except, you know, I'm gonna go back to my cannon barrel pistols because those are way better <laughs> than the ones that I have there. But we also have a crap ton of outfits to choose from now. Um, first of all, let's go back to the sword sets and see which ones I have. Blades of Toledo, those are pretty. All right, I'm using Altair swords right now and Ezio swords are pretty damn cool. We can use Altair swords for a while, I suppose, or I can use the Blades of Toledo. Let's go ahead and use those. And then for outfits, we can choose from quite a few. I do have the pirate cloak and it is amazing. Um, we got this when I visited Havana last and uh, I've got the explorer outfit, governor's outfit, stealth outfit, um, Captain Morgan's outfit, which is freaking amazing and I'm gonna put it on right now. Uh, we got Steed Bonnet's outfit, uh, Captain Drake's outfit, which is pretty cool. We, I redeemed Edward the legend on Uplay. I do have the hunter outfit and I got an achievement for it. But for now, let's change into Captain Morgan's outfit. Oh my god, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so amazing. Ah, and then we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got for the Jackdaw. And I do have quite a bit of money and quite a bit of resources. Oh, damn it, I need the plan. That's right. 35,000 for that. I can get a better mortar. Let's get a better swivel. There we go. Sure, what the heck. I'll I need an achievement to fully upgrade the jackdaw eventually, so might as well. And then I have all that stuff. Me and my uh, cousin were just fooling around. Got a couple of ones. We got the red stripe sails and the tattered sails. The black ship sails, which are freaking amazing. Uh, the revenges sails, which were steed sails, um, which I wore for a little bit. And we have Altair and Ezio sails, which are quite lame. I was hoping they were a little bit better. But um, Ezio's are actually pretty cool. I wore them around for a while. Death vessel sails, which are amazing. Kraken sails. The Jackdaw's figurehead. I have the Phoenix one. My favorite one is that and this one. Oh, it's so cool, but it is rather small. Um, so I think I'm going to put on... Uh, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Black ship figurehead, which I believe was Captain Morgan's. Um, oh, God, it's so cool. It's the Grim Reaper. How's that not cool? And I still have the Aquila's wheel, of course. But I think I might want to put on a new wheel just for the sake of having a new wheel. But I also might not. I don't know. The elite wheel is pretty cool. But no, I'm going to keep my Aquila's wheel because it's precious to me. So, that's some of the stuff we've got for our ship. And it's freaking amazing. And while I'm in here, I think I'm going to sell some stuff. Oh my god, I love this outfit so much. I wore it around for a little bit. My cousin... Uh, knows who Captain Morgan is, and he was all excited. He wanted to see me get it, so I went and got him. And, uh, oh my god, I was not disappointed in any way. Look at this! This is amazing! Oh my god. Good lord. Okay, so now we're gonna find something to do. Hello, Anne. Oh, it feels so good to be back in the big Caribbean. Feels really good. And I know what that is, and I know. I'm not going there yet. My jackdaw's not ready for that. But um, I actually kept a list of stuff that you guys uh, wanted to see me do from the last couple of episodes of Black Flag Shenanigans. I took your suggestions and I put them into a Word document so I could go back and look at them later. And I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And the first suggestion on my list that I've written down is find the giant squid, which can be found at the Antoka wreck. I was completely unaware that there was a giant squid in this game, and I'm super excited to find it. So let's go ahead and find the Antoka wreck, wherever the frick that is. Antoka wreck, there it is. 
However, this is open world shenanigans, so we're not gonna fast travel. I kind of broke that rule in Freedom Cry, but I don't care. And, uh, oh my god, that's loud. Also, I have my headset on backwards. <laughs> god damn it. Okay, there we go. And now, we are going to do whatever we fancy on our way over. Where's this? Oh, I still have a contract to get over here, too. Let's go ahead and acquire this contract while we're here. Because that's literally all that's here. And then we can 100% this island. It's a sailing time. Oh, I miss shanties. Oh, it feels good. Okay. It would just be like default. Sailing from one area of the map to the other in Freedom Cry, I would hit right on the D-pad. Nothing would happen and I'd be like, "Oh, sad face. I want my shanties back and now I have them back. It's awesome. It's very awesome. Okay, but we're gonna get this contract, whatever it is. We're not necessarily gonna go for it immediately, but I just want to acquire it while we're here. God, this outfit's amazing! I love it. Oh, I have something in my eye. Itch, itch, itch. I'm just having all kinds of problems. I'm sorry. Hi, Annie. Here she is again. There it is. Okay. You'll notice some of these islands around I've already 100%, and that's uh, the work of my cousin and I. Literally, what I would do is, Slave Master, we have identified a particularly brutal slave trafficking network operating between Africa and the West Indies. The man earning a profit for his villainy is believed to be on a nearby island. Kill him. Okay. Uh, speaking of free to cry, we're going to kill a slaver. Feels good. But anyway, as I was saying, basically the rule was, well, it wasn't really a rule, but it was just the way we ended up doing things, was um, I would pull up the map, like zoom all the way out as far as I could, just like this, and kind of pan around. And when he saw something that he wanted me to do, I do it. And as you can see, I, we've done quite a bit of stuff, but don't worry. We have like absolutely no shortage of doing stuff here. And this series has got to end sometime, you know? But yeah, he wanted to see Black Flag, and so I showed it to him. I could have started a whole new save and played through the story all through again, but I didn't exactly feel like doing that at the time. So, uh, yeah. Sorry if I 100% in an island that you really wanted or you wanted to see the DLC things or whatever, but really, the DLC things for acquiring these, like, everything was just really in a chest. Or by looting a plantation. That's really it. It was like nothing you haven't seen before, except acquiring the outfits. <laughs> My reaction to putting on the Captain Morgan outfit for the first time was pretty awesome. But, uh, nevertheless, it's just an outfit. It's a freaking awesome outfit, but it's just an outfit. So, I don't know why I marked that, since I'm not going to go for it immediately. But, um, where is he even? Oh, they're actually not too far away. The Antoka wreck is there. So maybe we could just get this assassination contract on our way over there, because we kind of have to go that way anyway. Sure, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, what do you guys have? Rum and sugar, metal and rum. I do need metal, but you guys are kind of out of the way, so I'm not going to go that way. Get the main spree. We'll pay Patty Doyle for his boots. We'll all drink brandy and gin. <laughs> I don't know why that line makes me laugh every time, but it does. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun! I love this game! I hope AC5 is just as good, and I have a feeling it's gonna be in Asia. Possibly might be in France, but I think it's more likely it's gonna be in Asia, and oh my freaking god, I'm so excited! Oh! Stabby stab! I mean, I'm in no rush, really, to play the next game. I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen next in the series, but... Oh my god, like, with how much fun this game is, I am in no rush to play the next one. Not until I've done everything that there is to possibly do in single player this game. Multiplayer is kind of... I used to play the crap out of multiplayer, but, I mean, I'm like a level 30 and that's it. Because <laughs> I played it the first couple days this game was out, and then that was it. I'm gonna play some more, though, because you guys like the multiplayer commentary, so I'm gonna play some more, don't worry. Ow! My face! I'm ranting a lot, aren't I? Just talking about stuff. Dolphins! I saw a dolphin back there. Ow. You don't hit Captain Morgan! What am I even hitting? 
There we go. Why am I still killing people? I gotta go kill the scouts now. So yeah. God, this outfit's amazing. I fucking love the hat. Look at the hat! It's amazing! Yeah, you're cute. Uh, yeah! So I forgot to go for the chain kill, but whatever. <laughs> we'll do it next time. Hello? Those are some pretty cool swords. Rub it sugar. Why did I even board this guy? I don't even know, but whatever. We're, we're gonna repair. Oh, it feels good to be Edward again. In a badass hat with a red coat. Oh my god. <sighs> like, Robbie was just excited to see it because he likes Captain Morgan for whatever reason. And then I put it on and I was like, oh my god, the hat! That was the first thing I noticed. The freaking hat. Ooh, I think there's a message in a bottle on that ply over there. We can go and get it. You're so cute! Look at you! I mean, like, really? I can't believe it took me- Ow! I can't believe it took me long enough- Or that long or whatever. Ah, oh, fucking gunboat. To figure out what those messages in the bottle were talking about. It's the sage- before Bartholomew, I think. Oh, by the way, this episode's not spoiler free. <laughs> I, I just avoided discussing it because these episodes are supposed to be spoiler free, but a lot of you said it's okay to talk about spoilers. So now I'm going to talk about spoilers. Um, it's basically like the stage before Roberts, I'm pretty sure, based on the date. And uh, I know they were all the uh, husband of Juno or Aita. And once we collect all of these messages in a bottle, I'm going to read them all in order for you guys. If you guys want me to. If you don't want me to, then that's okay. But if you want me to, go ahead and post a comment and tell me that you want to see it. I love my outfit. Okay. Uh, taking my leave. After my difficult counsel with Balaam, I took a day to ruminate on what should be done. Notions strange and uncertain battled in my head for supremacy, and I was never on one idea long before its opposite seemed a better option. Yet at last made my decision. Sir, you have been gracious with me, I told him, and my trust in you is complete. Yet I cannot share my visions and memories without first understanding them myself. I must therefore take my leave and travel in secret to a place that has occupied my thoughts for many years. Observatory, I imagine. Balaam smiled and said, I understand well and I believe in your cause. To find the source of your reveries, will you do a great good? Go, therefore, and answer these riddles. We will provide you with supplies to see you safely embarked. To which I replied, Thank you, sir. And if what I find satisfies me, I'll return hither and provide you with answers that may satisfy you as well. In the days following, Balaam was true to his word. With his young son, Atabai. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Balaam is Atabai's father! That's awesome! Oh, how did I not make that connection before? Good lord. With his young son, Atabai, in tow, he transported me first onto a fishing village near his own compound and supplied me with maps and coin before issuing a warning. The Templars are lately come to the West, West Indies, excuse me, and this Torres is their Grand Master. And though few now in number, there must soon be others. Take heed of them, and trust not their entreaties, for what they cannot earn by conversation, they will take by force. And with this and a hearty goodbye, I took my leave of this assassin and set out for parts unknown, a vague sense of purpose pulling me forward. Okay, come here. Hi-ya! 2246 chests. Okay, time to go back to my beloved ship. Oh, oh, this is difficult. I, I should have taken the coat off. <laughs> oh, I love Steed. Especially the way he said goodbye. I just put the biggest grin on my face, and then I remembered how he died. And that was- that just completely put the kibosh on everything. Psh, broke my heart. <laughs> it was in my book, I just didn't remember it until I looked it up later. There's a lot about that book I didn't remember. Fire barrels, hooray! Give me some speed. Okay, we're gonna go for this assassination contract, and then we're gonna head for the Antoka wreck. See if we can find the giant squid. I don't even know where to look for it. I just know it's in the Antoka wreck. But <laughs> I don't know where to look. You guys both have wood, right? Alright, if you wanted to check me, be my guest! Fire! 
Oh, I Attack missed. Oh, that was miserable. There we go. Got him. Ready to fire, sir. I won't board these guys. I'll sink them and just take half. You have one as well! Aren't you special? Ah, great. Nine defenses? Oh my god. Well, I might want to do this just because... Just to clear out this area, I'm gonna have to do it eventually. No, 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 I'm not gonna board, just kidding. If you don't mind. We have clock and rum. So you can have a mortar, dear sir. Oh god. No! Oh god. That's nine defenses. You can have a mortar too if you want. Fort with nine defenses. I am proud of myself. Captain Morgan can do anything. All right, we can dock right here. So let's go ahead and do that. Dock, please. Swim us off the wind. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Patience, patience. Mm, 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 mm. Ugh, thank you. Please don't squish me. <sighs> okay. Let's do this. I imagine going there would be a bad idea. Do I? Wait, do I? Yeah, that's a no. Ow! 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 God damn it. How do I get in there? Oh, right here. Okay, I see. Yep, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. It's been a while, okay? Shut up! Oh, where are you going? Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where's this last guy? He's gotta be. He's gotta be around here somewhere. He's down below me. What the hell? I stupid. Where is this guy? Oh, he's down here. Okay, I see him. Die. You guys gonna surrender now or no? Got a good line on the guy that's rank two. Oh my gosh, that's the highest I've ever been on that. That's awesome. Yeah. I wonder who's the only one ahead of me. Smookykins, knowing my luck. Eh. Hi. Ow. Ow. Don't be a dick. Come on. Have your way with me. Just kidding. I did it. The headset's falling off my head again. I would like to loot. Yeah, we took it! Congratulations, lads! Okay, now where am I going? War room's down on the bottom this time. That's new. Okay. Knock, knock! I have no rope darts. God dang it. God, have mercy, sir! I wonder if this will work. <laughs> That's a no. No! 
pistol, damn it! Thank you. Oh, he's still alive. Alright, there we go. Shot him from under the table. <laughs> I forgot to switch back to the pistol. Hooray! This nine tower fort is ours. I forget the name of it. What's the name of it? Don't remember. Maybe get some naval contracts and stuff while we're here. Cool. Can you give me the name of the fort? You know, maybe? You're highlighting everything except the... Oh my god. The Navasa, there we go. That's the name of this place. We'll get a naval contract while we're here. We'll leave the chests and animus fragments for when I play on my own time. Because that's just chests and fragments and... You guys know how that goes. Okay. Blind Justice. Greetings, Privateer. You've been afforded the rare chance of being the instrument of righteousness and justice. I don't think it's really rare, because I've done quite a few of these contracts for you. A criminal masquerading as a captain sails aboard a British man of war. Well, that's just great. The charges against him are too long to list, but you'll be a hero if you can board his ship and end his felonious life. Signed, Milo Vandegraaff. Honest businessman and friend. I did look him up. And uh, it turns out that he's only in this game, so I have no idea who the hell this guy is. But, uh, yeah, either way, we're gonna accept this contract. There we go. Oh, wait, did, did I? Oh, no, okay, do I do have both of them here. All right, good. I'll take that, thank you. And I'm gonna... What might you be requiring? I might be requiring the entire set of the black ship stuff. Thank you very much. I do have that figurehead, because it's freaking amazing. Um, did I pass it? No, these are all just figureheads and wheels. Okay. Black ships sails, which are solid black, and they're freaking amazing. I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. And that will about do it. Thank you. Perhaps tis, but postpone. Do you have a frog in your throat or something, bro? <laughs> Just missed. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. Okay, now we're gonna go in here, and I'm gonna put on Morgan's pistols. Or swords, whichever one I got from him, I forget. Pretty sure it's pistols. Okay. Pistol sets, Captain Morgan's pistols. Some pretty awesome pistols right there. Okay. And I'm gonna get that freaking chain kill. <laughs> Fort was a good time to do that, but again, I forgot. I actually don't use my pistols that often, just because they're not very stealthy. Either way, we're gonna go this way. Seems the naval contract's over there. It's closer, but whatever. We'll go this way. Because you guys suggested this to me, so we're going to head this way. We're going to get this assassination contract, and then we're going to head for the Atokarik, and then maybe we'll come back and get that Man of War. Depending on what else is over there, which I think, if I remember correctly, is not very much, but whatever. Oh my god.